Evening all. We're live. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you doing? Oh look, that notification was um, pretty good. Was that for this? Yeah. Wow. Google might have actually <laughs> sorted out notifications. I doubt it. They're just having a good day. <laughs> 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 anyway welcome everybody uh if you're a regular welcome back uh great to see you if you're new here i'm nick this is my wife andrea um and we're full-time resellers we buy and sell whatever we can get our mitts on and sell it online for profit that's how we earn a living it's what we've been doing for far too many years and um yeah we share what we get up to on youtube uh every sunday we come on and just chat about well in this case, it's just going to be sharing stuff we've picked up because we do have yeah. quite a big haul. We've had a good weekend. If we don't have a haul, we just chat. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, welcome, everyone. There's quite a few people in. We've got 127 in already. So welcome. That's yep. amazing. Hello, everyone. Uh, let me scroll back in the chat. Uh, we have Peter Ray, uh, Ben Smith, Fritz is in. Hi, Fritz. Chelsea, uh, Bumcrack Picker. Elaine is in, says, good evening, folks. Hope you are well. Yeah, we're good. We're quite exhausted. Been a bit full on the last week, hasn't it? We even had a nap. Well, we had a nap yesterday as well with that. <laughs> yeah. We're getting old. Well, we did a, ga a uh, garage sale trail yesterday, and then somebody shared with you, didn't they, that there was another yes. one today? Yeah, they did. Who was that? Um, Do you know? If I did, I would tell you. Um, so we actually did another one today. The one today was a bit of a... Nah, hardly worth yes, bothering. It was Anna Sandy. So thanks, Anna, for the heads yeah, up about you, the uh, the yard sale trail today. Did they call it a yard sale trail no, today? No, they called it a jumble jo sale trail. Here comes Monty. Monty has just... Uh, how does he open the door? I don't know. He's a talented dog. <laughs> Did Ellen open the door for him? No. Hello. Yes, we might get you in later. I don't think it was shut properly. Um. So we did two, like, yard sale trails whatever you want to call them, jumble trails, yeah. um, picked up a fair bit of stuff, which we're going to share with you. So let me just say a few more hellos and we will crack on. Uh, Stephen Bennett, hi there. Uh, Robin. Um, let me get to oh, the Janet end. Janet is in. Janet. Stu Mandry. Gary, hi there. George Ross. Hey, George. Um, yeah, Chris Newton. How is life in, in Wally's shed? Oh, Z in. <laughs> You're not playing Fortnite, Z. What's going on? <laughs> if you didn't know, Zahir has another channel. <laughs> and he plays uh, Fortnite. Yeah. It's it's turned into a, a Fortnite channel almost. Although I think he put up a different video today, didn't he? He's reviewing oh, reviewed his shoes. I've been on YouTube today. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, let me get mm -hmm. to the end. So Ray, hi there, Ray. Tap Peddler, Barry, welcome everybody. Are we at the end yet? Nearly. Pixie Dust Gaming is in. Yeah, Claire and Leah are in. Um, with a question. Yep. Do you think with your current popularity and the popularity of the channel, you might start a Thrift Battle UK so it's not at two o'clock in the morning? Well, funny we, you say that. <laughs> we did talk about it, <laughs> didn't we? We talked about it, yeah. Um, I chatted about that with Zahir, and Zahir was obviously... On the American version, the original, and Chris was cool with the, the, you know, us kind of stealing the format. So maybe I don't know. I don't know when or not, how, not really but stealing, but you know, well, adapting. Yeah. <laughs> so we might do. Yeah, I don't know. We haven't really talked about it since, um, but that would be fun, definitely. Okay. Um, George says, "How's the dust allergy?" Okay, I did order some of those uh, tablets. I do try and take. Um, tablets am i but i forget but i'm going to try those ones you recommended george i'm quite sniffy today because we've i've just moved all this stuff in here and the dust is everywhere again yeah. um david byatt says um there was a yard sale trail in in Breeston, derby today apparently around 90 yards managed about half that's a 90s. lot that's you'd a never lot. get around them we found the, the one we went to yesterday which was saturday yeah. there was about 40 yeah something. and it was only on between 10 and 1 and by the time, you know, we hadn't got around them all at all. It was too, it was too short. Yeah. Um, and then the one we did today was, again, similar hours, wasn't it? Yeah, but by the time we got around yesterday's to the end ones, they were closing up. Yeah, they were closing. A lot of them were gone. And, so. and then the one we did today, which was um, sort of over Biggles Way, wasn't it? Yeah. The um, 
there was way less, but we still struggled to get round and they were packing up towards the end. Mm. So we think we're going to try and get one um, running in Hitchin. Yeah. And I think we would probably do maybe mm. started at 10 and then have a, a finish time of, I don't know, not even put a finish time on it. Or, or should you? I don't know. What would you say if we organised one? You see, I think you have to um, because you have to think about the sellers as well. Or maybe three and o'clock. And they don't really then. want to be spending all day long. You know, they don't want to waste a whole Saturday. Outside. Do you think that's why they make them so short? I think then? it is, yeah. Or start earlier then. Yeah. So do like nine till one, two? Yeah, one or two. I don't know. But they are fun. Yeah. We, did, uh, we didn't vlog today. Which was good because it was a, it wasn't great today, was it? Let's be honest. We didn't get a lot of stuff. No, no and there was very was, few stalls. It was and... mostly sort of kids' clothes and um, yeah, and toys and stuff, which would have been good when when we used to have the kids' clothes shop. <laughs> yeah, and, not, and we not were so good now because I'm not doing kids' clothes anymore. We found ourselves following an obvious reseller couple as yes. well, who were just on it. They were just <laughs> zooming around. They were rushing up to stalls. Have you got any video games? Have you got any this? Have you got any that? And hoovering just up stuff. stuff. And yeah. I was like, what? oh, we're taking okay. stuff out of, in front of us because we, we're quite used to like going to a jumble trail and it's so much more relaxed than a car boot. So mm. you kind of roll up and you just browse in and blah, blah, blah. And they were just like, put up in the van. And I, like... <laughs> I was looking through a pile of PS2 and this arm reached over me, grabbed a wireless PS3 controller. I hadn't even kind of scanned to that point yet yeah. and she went grab and she was off it kind of woke us up with, didn't with it? an armful of stuff that's when i first realized oh they're resellers and then yeah. they zoomed off and we were it woke us up and we were like all right we need to get going then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i don't know we did okay we found a few bits which we will get on to in a minute um what else was i going to say um yeah video wise um i do have a guest lined up for thursday this week i won't share who that is so hopefully that's going to happen thursday we're also chatting with steve and steph who if you don't follow their channel they do some really brilliant videos where they just play a board game or a, a card game or a card game or whatever yeah. live on air and we're really into our games we play lots of games with the family and stuff and i chat to steve and steph regularly mm -hmm. and we're trying to hook up so we're going to have a like we're going to play games with them with the two channels so i don't know when i i think i suggested friday would work so maybe friday we're going to set that up which will just be brilliant they are so funny love them to bits so hopefully we can sort that out so yeah, yeah. keep your eyes peeled for those so i think um while we're talking about videos yeah i i just want to say <laughs> um that i know that i've promised to do a few videos and it's really difficult when you've said you're going to do them and then I haven't done them and people keep asking, when's Andrea going to do a so-and-so video? And the truth is I've had a bit of a crisis of self-confidence recently. And um, I've just, I don't know, I've just found myself asking, does anyone really want to watch me? Is anything that I've got to say, you know, does it am i saying anything different than anyone else is saying and i don't think that matters I know. If you haven't said you know and whatever it is you want to say it's coming from you that's the I point just, i know but i've just ended up overthinking things um having a bit of a crisis of confidence we had a long walk didn't we where we had a big chat about stuff and that really helped sort of clear my head on on things and um I, I so think... i'm sorry if i promised to do stuff and i haven't done it um but I am making a commitment now to make at least one video a week. And I've made one. There we go. <laughs> I've edited it today. <laughs> um, but it's not one that I promised to do. It's one about Vinted. Um, so that will be coming probably tomorrow, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I think you hit the nail on the head. You know, I don't want to speak for you, but I think you overthink things and worry about I do things rather than just things. making the video and, and put then, it out. You know, I watch other YouTubers and I watch people on Instagram and I think do I have anything relevant to say? Do I have anything that is of interest really to people that they haven't heard before? <laughs> I, just think, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I think the point is it's you and people know you and want to watch you. Simple. And if they don't, they won't. That's fine. Yeah, exactly. I know. I just, I overthought it all and I got a bit, you know, had a crisis of self-confidence really over it. So yeah, I apologise and I'm just... I'm trying to get back on it and um well, Claire and Leah say their message for you. Um 
says andrea i've done youtube different channel for four years oh wow i didn't realize uh sometimes it's just got to be something you want to do and when you feel happy to exactly yeah, and exactly. i think and i think because i overthought it, it it just became like a big kind of you know a what what shall i say how how do i describe it but like a burden almost um yeah and then i didn't want to do it because i felt like i was just forcing myself to do it so yeah david <laughs> mcmillan there was saying hello from northern ireland hi david uh hello nick and andrea andrea uh uh what's that go for it because i've done some videos and it helped me get over not being confident thank you david yeah i think so and I, I feel good about the last although i think i watched it back and and edited it and i thought i've got my telephone voice on but <laughs> apart, oh, yeah, from that, yeah. <laughs> apart from that and i'm quite happy with what with the last video i did so. lonnie's in as well hi there lonnie um it says andrea we are all saying the same stuff for the most part and that is so true yeah um if you want to do it just try if you don't then not doing it is cool too yeah but, thanks and Andy. it's totally true i think the thing is, Andrew's always wanted to, but it's a confidence thing. And I've tried not to push you, but at the same time, you sometimes need a push. And it's difficult, isn't it? Yeah. But so you've actually made that one, haven't you? I've that made it and I've edited it. There so, we go. So yeah. we shall release that one and we'll see where we go. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I feel like mentally in my head, if I, I'm going to call it Friday my video day. So at least I get one done a week, if nothing else. Good. And. So, um, before we move on from that, we just want to read what Pixie Dust Gaming said. We would watch you, Andrea, no matter what you talk about. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, so, yeah, that will be out, I don't know when, tomorrow maybe. Yeah, maybe, unless yeah. you've got anything lined up. Not for tomorrow, I don't think. I've got a runny nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peter Ray says, Andrea, if you see my videos from the start to now, confidence has grown so much. Yeah, I've noticed that. And then i do know what you mean peter is so, a great example of yeah. someone who has built a channel from scratch as we all do and is loving it yeah absolutely um, you're you're a great example peter so thank you yeah oh <laughs> claire and leah they said super chatting because andrea rocks <laughs> thank you thanks so oh, much for the super so chat much. no that's that's wonderful so okay yeah that we'll we'll try and put that out tomorrow then yeah yeah so keep your eyes peeled for that so the the gist of this video is we're going to share stuff i don't know if you can see there's stuff here there's stuff here stuff everywhere <laughs> bags of stuff i haven't even really looked through you've yeah. got a couple of bags of stuff you picked up where the hell are we going to start do you want to start with something oh actually start with this oh yeah i'm absolutely boiling you might see that i'm getting <laughs> do you want to take it off well, i have to take it off i wore it because i wanted to show you <laughs> Andrea strip tease. Now I know you'd watch that. No, I'm going to take it <laughs> off off camera. Um, but yeah, I found this is obviously isn't to resell, but well, it could it, be. It Th could there's be. a market for it. it could Mickey be. stuff easily. But um, obviously, you might have heard we're going to Disney World <laughs> in July. So um, yeah, these are Ellen's going to wear this one. This is Ellen. She had this on earlier, and this was mine. And this was from the Jumble Trail. We found them and this really really cute bag as well look at this now i think that helen from cora and helen have got one of these because i recognize it oh right okay. i think that she's got one and it's got a really cool little sort of bag little charm on it with um mickey's pants yeah so these <laughs> these are keep mickey's pants Mickey's pants. Yeah, yeah. oh right <laughs> I, th I thought that was a ghost <laughs> i thought this was a little ghost thing silly Billy. that's his pants oh <laughs> so yeah these are keepers uh to go with us to florida in uh how long's that it's not far away now july a couple of months um yeah right. and it's very much looking forward to it because it means that her exams will have ended and should have finished school completely and yeah and then it's holiday time <laughs> all right so yeah those are not to resell uh i don't know where to start um yeah. just got all sorts nice little seal pokemon tomy i'm just gonna check with jump figure yeah, on him. um i haven't had a chance to look up most of this so i couldn't tell you it is new and sealed i may send that into amazon if it's got a listing on amazon uh, i've done well with stuff like that up there um i think i paid two on that now these were interesting i bought a little bundle of stuff off a lady who was she had a stall and it was all for charity 
And it was awkward because it was make a donation. I, I was asking her prices of various things, and I bought several bits and bobs, didn't I? And she said, oh, just make a donation, which I found really awkward. I didn't know how much to put in anyway. So I got these. Now, this is a photograph, but unfortunately, even with a magnifying glass, I can't see a station name. Um, the train has a number, so I might be able to find out what the train is. But it would be nice to know what the station is. That would help sell it. Yeah, um, I might share it on like a train enthusiast Facebook page or something, see if anyone can identify the station. So that's nice. That's just a photographic print. And then these, I don't know quite where they're from or what, you know, they're just prints again of famous trains. I doubt there's a great deal of value, but I'll do them as a job lot. They'd be really nice framed up. You got famous ones. I think there's the Mallard in here and stuff. Oh, there you go. So yeah, there was all of that, and I got a movie poster from that lady, didn't I? Where did that go? It might still be in the living room. Did you oh, bring it I in? I thought I brought it in. I don't know. Okay, well, I, I do have a movie poster somewhere. Do you want me to have a look? If you like. So I thought I brought it in though. I don't know, I stuff everywhere guys literally I... <laughs> anyway so we'll move on to these yeah, these were from a different stall um i looked at all sorts of stuff on this stall and the prices were quite high and then i noticed a pile of really quite old uh, vintage sheet music and i said how much are they and she said well somebody just bought one for three pounds and i thought did they really so she said, make me an offer. And at that point, I thought, well, I'm only going to offend you with what I'm going to offer. But I said it anyway. <laughs> I said, well, I'd give you a pound a lot. And she said, oh, no, no, no. Somebody bought one for a three pounds, didn't you? Do you remember that lady? Yeah. So anyway, I, we carried on looking through all her stuff. And I bought a chess set off her, which I'll show you in a second, that wooden one there. And then as we were going, she said, oh, you know what? You can have all of those for a pound. So I don't think she'd actually sold one for three. Anyway, yeah, this is the movie poster. I really like this. I've no idea if it has any particular value. It's Slaughterhouse Five, um, and it's it's got printed in England by W. E. Berry Limited, Bradford. So I think it's a genuine would have hung in a movie theatre sort of poster or in those little snap-on like frames outside the building you know what i mean yeah um it's been folded quite a lot which is a shame it hasn't been rolled so i don't know i just think it's a really cool thing um i haven't looked into it don't know if it's got any value it's got a it hasn't got a date on it has it no. i can i can date it by when the film came out but yeah i just i just love that to the right person that will be quite collectible fold it up again there so yeah there was that that was from the same uh stall as those train pictures let me dip in the chat i'm going to try and keep an eye on the chat more it's really difficult though could it be hitchin central it's no, not hitchin see we did look at that because it looks very similar to one of the buildings in, yeah in well Hitchin. most station buildings but then we realize similar. that the background is completely different so yeah and there's a there's a church yeah. spire here which is hard to spot yeah. sort of faint in the background certainly not hitching don't know i just want to um say thank you to charlotte because she's just said something really lovely in the chat and um a bit further up and um just here um, says Andrea really did give me that motivation she doesn't understand how much she's changed my life in the most wonderful way without her I wouldn't even be a reseller so I can't thank her enough and that really really means a lot wow. Charlotte. so thank you so much for that yeah yeah it's so hot in here guys <laughs> it's boiling in here it's been a really I don't know what it's been like up and down the country but it's been super hot we had a thunderstorm last night it rained heavy, didn't it? Thunder and lightning. Yeah. Um, I stood on the doorstep just watching the lightning. No, I Love hate them. it when you do that. <laughs> Always makes me nervous. It's not going to get me. It was quite far away at that point. <laughs> right, let me scroll through. Uh, 
Lonnie's liking mm -hmm. the photo. It is cool. Yeah, I need to work out at least what that train is. Otherwise, what am I going to put in the title? If I can work out what the station is, even better. Um, okay, let me get to the end. Graham, got to dive out as I have an eye infection. Oh, no. Oh, good Lord. Hope that clears up soon, Graham. I would try 30 on the poster, says Kevin. Okay. Nick, all original film posters were folded in eight or six. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good to know. So it hasn't been kind of ruined by the folding then. I assume they'd all be rolled. Oh, it's got the name Seamus on the back. <laughs> Not that that means anything. There is some tiny writing there, but we couldn't find a date, could no, we? No, I can't see a date Just on Just copyright information. National Screen Service Limited. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's genuine. It's really nice thick paper as well. Um, is there four previous Slaughterhouse films, or is it about five people? No idea. I've never heard of the film. No. New channel, Nick Hill Storm Chaser. I used to love Storm Chasers. Do you remember when I was really into that? Yeah. Charlotte's yeah. just um, suggested you do a um, reverse image search on Google, maybe. For the station? For the photo, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Possibly. Could try that. I've never actually done that. <laughs> New channel, Nick's. Nick Hill's Storm Chaser, you'd love to do that. I remember you I used read to... that. You you tuned oh, me out I'm at that sorry. point. I, did tune you out. <laughs> I think you were reading that other comment. I was. Yeah, I used to love Storm Chasers on Discovery. Yeah, I did as well. That was good. Mm. Uh Peter, Nick, I did a Thunder and Lightning and Rain video from last night's storm. Oh right, I haven't seen that yet. Question Have you shown the media to the left of you? No, not yet. I can run through that. It's just nothing exciting. Um I got a Guitar Hero with guitar, uh, PS3, and then strangely we were at, we were at a store. There will be footage of some of this. Um, I don't know what will come out. Um, and the woman, we were chatting away to the woman, and she said, "Oh, are you interested in computer games?" Then because I was buying, I bought that Crash Bandicoot PS1 and stuff from her. She said, "Because I've just thrown away a Guitar Hero." I know. I was like, "Thrown it away?" Have you? <laughs> She said, yeah, yeah. And at that point we were we were going and she I said, well, we'll come back anyway. So I made her a cheeky offer on a Fender amp uh, and she wasn't she was numbing mm, and ah. And I said, well, I'll come back if it's still there. I'll, I'll grab it. If not, don't worry. And we went back at the end. <laughs> it was really funny. We pulled up on their driveway and they all went, yay, it's the mini man. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. And uh, and she'd fished this this guitar out of the bin. Oh, headphones and stuff. And it was this. So... <laughs> oh no, you're attached. Uh, it just seemed odd to me. <laughs> oh my god. You all right there? No. <laughs> I'm not ducking. My strap was <laughs> yeah. Careful, way. Um, so she was having a yard sale, garage trail, stall, whatever you call it, and yet had thrown away a perfectly good wee guitar in the bin. So she fished it out and she said, here you go. And because it was in the bin, she didn't charge me, so she just gave it to me. So that was cool. Not a great deal of money. And then but at Christmas, these go better with a couple of bits of software. That's where the, the remote goes. So yeah, that was good for nothing. But that game I showed you came with... <laughs> <laughs> says, not another guitar attack. <laughs> I've got another one yet. <laughs> this time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, Peter Ray um, has super chatted. Thank you, Peter. And says, thanks, Nick and Andrea, for the wonderful videos. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. It is our pleasure. It's truly our pleasure. And also a super chat from Tap Peddler who says, thanks for all the videos and reselling inspiration. Thank you for the super chat. Cheers, and, um, guys. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate that. As we've yeah. said before, I mean, this is, it's pleasure for us. And the fact that, you know, people can get something out of it is just like a cherry on the yeah, top. Yeah, it really is. Um, yeah, it means the world to us. So thanks, guys. So this was the, the PS3 one that I got. Um, it's going to need a bit of work in the battery compartment. There's... Oh, yeah, it's leaked a bit, isn't it? Yeah, but I use that as a way to get quite a lot of money off it. 
Um, I can't remember what I paid right now. I got him right down, didn't I? Yeah, I can't remember what you paid either. Because I opened this up and literally showed him that it had corrosion. I don't know if it's going to show. It's not too bad, and I think it will clean up. You can see more on this one. Um, so I ended up getting it for a couple of pounds or something. <laughs> I'm watching. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, always worth checking, guys. I've said it before so many times. It only takes a minute to just... Um, to fall in love. I knew, I knew you were going to sing the Take That song. <laughs> the moment I said it, I knew it. Always check in there um, because sometimes things are just ruined if, the, if they've leaked too bad. But that'll be okay. So anyway, that's those. Yeah, media. Um, <laughs> Stream, I hope you said... Notice how Andrea gently leans away from it. Could it be he's holding something up to the camera? You've learned from experience. Yes. <laughs> I'm keeping an eye on it. <laughs> uh, Just Dance Games are still worth picking up. Uh, they're better off in bundles. I, di I think it's this one that still goes well on Amazon. Um, they're both Connect ones, so I may do a Connect bundle because I picked up a Connect later on in the day. Um, so, yeah, those are nice. Curly Chloe says, does vinegar work well? Uh, it's bicarb. Is it bicarb and a mix of vinegar? That's what I use to clean um, plug, you know, sinks. Oh, right. <laughs> um, plug, plug holes? Is that what I want to say? I don't know. You have to experiment with yeah. different stuff. People have different I methods. I use it to clear the, the sink with. Now, how retro cool are these? Yeah. I love the colours on these. These are Bush uh, yeah. cassettes sealed. I mean, quite sadly, the lady was um, selling a lot of stuff. Her husband had passed away, hadn't he? This and, was the um, same stool where, where they're throwing the Guitar Hero in the bin. Yeah, and... Um, yeah, the older lady, I think the and mother. He was a musician, he was a drummer, and had collected lots of different um, musical... Oh, I didn't hear half things. of that. I heard her say that she'd lost her husband. Yeah, he was a drummer. That's why he had the amp. Oh, right. Did you? No, you did. You asked her, was he a guitarist? And she said, no, he was a drummer. Did she? Yes. I was probably still looking at stuff and half listening. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, so that came from those stalls. Yeah, Lonnie says store. bicarb works pretty well. Yeah. But he prefers vinegar. Oh, okay. I'll try. I'll try oh, that's both. Anna Sandy. Um, the station picture looks similar to Sandy. I assume that is it Sandy because you're from Sandy? I'm not sure. Um, so Anna, anyway, Sandy. thank you for telling us about the um, garage trail today because we really enjoyed that, didn't we? Well, that would make sense that it would be Sandy because where we were, well, as you know, I didn't, Sandy... I didn't end up reading the thing. I, I got completely distracted. But yeah, so it looks similar to Sandy train station, northbound side. The church in the background seems to fit too. But um, like you say, a lot of stations do look the same. Yeah. But it would make sense because yeah. the area where we were in, Sandy was a stone's throw from where we were. Well, not not far, was it really? Yeah. It was nearer to where we were today, actually. Sandy. Anyway. Yeah. Cool. What did we yes. buy that today? No, that was yesterday, wasn't it? That was yesterday. Yeah, no, it's rolled into one. Uh, isn't it? Stack of now albums. Now yeah. now. Now. <laughs> um the next now album is the centenary one. Um yeah which will be out probably quite soon. It'll be the summer one because they're now doing three a year. They do like a, a Easter one, don't they? Yeah, an Easter, a summer and summer a Christmas. And a Christmas. We were on 99. So the next one is going to be 100. I assume they're going to make a big deal of it. Or even if they don't, it will just make it, it will put it in people's minds. Mm -hmm. I, I must have 100 now albums or more set up there. And once we hit 100, I'm just going to make up a load of lots. So I've got another stack of them. Peter Ray says, Barry Scott, bang and dirt is gone, <laughs> lol. <laughs> yeah, so who knows about Barry Scott? <laughs> have you been? Have you seen them chatting about Barry Scott on the streams? No, he was telling me about oh, it. Oh, was he? All right. Uh, Crash Bandicoot, always a winner. Um, I think these are around the £30 mark now. It's not in the best condition, but I do have a disc cleaner now, which I still need to... Um, get out and do i've got a backlog of that oh you can see how Ooh, bad yeah, it is blimey. but there's nothing deep on it so i think it'll be fine if i run it through for five minutes yeah in the disrepair machine right. i need to make a video about the disrepair machine actually that'll be that'll be a cool video so yeah always look out for the crash games uh die hards mm -hmm. which isn't great i did write down some of the values on these can you just scroll down in the chat yeah sorry it's frozen 
Is that better? Yeah. Diehard's about a tenner. These prices, I think, are based on Amazon. Uh, Peppa Pig ones, they just hold their value because Peppa Pig is still huge. I think these are about 10 each still. Uh, this is Amazon again, so it might be different on eBay. Oh, the DS one about seven. The Wii one about 12 is Amazon prices. I was paying 50p to a pound on most of this. Uh, Skylanders um, Superchargers. Picture wants to know if you've ever picked up the first Now CD. Uh, the first Now album was not on CD. The first Now album was on vinyl. What was the first CD? Uh, four. No, not four. Was it four? I think it's four. Okay. Pretty sure. Which is the first Now album I had on cassette with the For pink. the centenary, they should release the others on CD, I reckon. That would be so it cool. It would be really cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, Monty's coming again. Monty, the door. Except he can't get in, so he's... Yeah, some PS4 it. bits. Uh, WW2K16, which I don't think is great anymore. Let's have a look. About a tenner. Amazon prices. Skylanders, the solar stuff does sell. It is worth picking up. Not all of it, but PS4 one. Again, I think on eBay this was. I looked it up. About 10. I'm going to shoot for. Ghostbusters is one to look out for. Sorry, guys, if you're not into your media. I know a lot of people aren't, Gary. Uh, this will bore you senseless. But Ghostbusters is really picking up. It's really holding its value. About 20 quid I'm going to go for on that on Amazon. Maybe higher, actually. F1 sealed which is rather nice but it's not a game that holds a lot of value sealed is only about 12. sims always worth picking up that's quite a good one um about a tenner um always check they've got their serial numbers in uh cd keys angry birds i think it's still holding some value look it up yeah about a tenner these are amazon prices again um oh this doesn't have much value. I just picked it up because it's vintage cool. It's Dog yeah, Canyon. Yeah, I love that. Just to watch that coming home from school. Coming home? I'm not coming home from school. <laughs> when I came home from school, I used to watch Dog Canyon. Yeah. Yeah, let's know in the chat if you remember this. Talking of Dog Canyon, we've got one here trying to... <laughs> his, his breath is so bad right now. I can smell it. Just stop breathing. <laughs> But he does smell <laughs> nice other than that because he's had a bath. He had a bath. You may have seen the pictures we shared. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he hates it. So anyway, bits of media, which are cool. I did work out just in the games it was about 120 odd pounds worth, I think, there. Yeah. Um, did you want to share something else? Do you want to grab um, some yeah, yeah grab something out of your bag of Just fun? This bag of fun. This was from today, actually. I noticed this. You were looking kind of around it, and this was underneath. There's a whole set of Beatrix Potter books. Yeah, we've had this a few times. Yeah. Um, I don't know what we've got for it before. I'm thinking no. around the box is a bit 30, tatty. maybe. The books inside are lovely, but the box is a little bit I've had one. On. Yeah, I, the last one we sold, the, the box was worse, and that sold quite quick. Oh, okay. So yeah. Yeah, so that's really quite nice. It's worth grabbing. What did what did they ask you for? Three, wasn't it? Yeah. Which is a steal, three pounds for that. Yeah, never goes out of fashion. Um, and there's been the Peter Rabbit film out, so these may have risen in value. Did you chew me out then? No, there's a film. Okay. Yeah. Um I was just going to say, people were just I was saying just about the chat, but I was listening to it. about now albums. Yeah, Gary says now four on CD is a bolo. Absolutely, you're talking what three or four hundred, I think for now four. So few release, and it was a single album as well, rather than the, what they became double albums. Uh, yeah, George says as well. Now four on CD is the most valuable one to find. Goes into three figures, yeah, easily. My mum has now four on cassette. Used to love listening to it. Yeah, that's the one I had. It's got some great tunes on Now 4. I wish I kept my Now 4 cassette. I don't know. I just threw away all my cassettes. Okay, let me scroll. Was a big fan of Dog Tanyon. Who was that? Who's that? Oh, it just jumped and I've lost it. Tap Peddler. All right, yeah. Must get hands up. Always yep, ready. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> my wife was an angry bird yesterday because there was too much tat in the house. Well, as it actually says there, too much rat in the house. <laughs> Thanks, Christian. 
one for all and all for one see claire knows yeah, yeah. Or, or leah knows the words media and games are great thanks david oh, i, I love it gone. bye george if you see you, george oh, take care <laughs> speak to you soon mate hey sue sue's in says hi lovelies how are you we enjoyed your video the other night sat on the sofa we did. um you were sorting out lego and chattering away it was fun and you met up with um another youtuber Were you selling Polly? yeah 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 that was so cool, yeah, was cool. four to six hundred says richard i'm assuming we're still on now four. Oh, uh leanne says wow. andrea did you see that sue bought the same bamboo magazine rack you recently picked up no i didn't see that actually really how weird That's is that cool. i'd have to have a look flipping fantastic finds uh saying bought more playmobil today it's all your fault that's sue it's all sue's fault cool i've got <laughs> yes it was on the big telly sue <laughs> i've got yeah sue you are huge on the telly <laughs> i've got loads of playmobil to sort out from last week right uh I, I do you want to show you this really cool thing <laughs> okay <laughs> i got it for free they just gave it to me so um back yeah in when... i mean it's not often you see something spice girls related that's still sealed for a start it um, was sold in the kitchen shop <laughs> for the princely sum of 199 now this would have been 96 97 when spice girls were everywhere mm. and they put their name to everything from soft drinks to impulse mm. spray do you remember I had that impulse spray still full that went for pretty good money and the card itself it still looks so crisp and new, doesn't yeah. it? It's like that's been like sat in a drawer somewhere yesterday. There is a market for it. There's still a big collector's market, and they are they've reformed and they're touring again, aren't they? Yes. So it's probably a good time if you do have any bits knocking around in your own tat cave, dig them out and stick them on because the interest in Spice Girl stuff will. Yeah, will and there are up. lots of collectors out there. Yeah, so, we yeah, sold all sorts cool. over the years, haven't we, yeah. of Spice Girls. Now, I grabbed these. Um, I haven't really looked at them. Uh, I paid two pounds. Can I hold him? Oh, I'm modeling you... action men. Are they I'm action not, men? I'm not sure if they're action men. Oh, he's got a nice pose on. Hey, hang on. I was wondering if they had like a... What? I don't know. Are you pulling his trousers down? <laughs> Go on. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> um i paid two pounds for the like, three with barbie it says on the back doesn't it like, they um, the same? what are, the brand is these are the same they don't look quite like action men to me <laughs> um they're, they're really nice actually they're not as good as those dragon figures i had they're like real high end they feel somewhere in between action men <laughs> we're both peering at bums now <laughs> oh you've gone down the front look at you <laughs> Oh, he's lost his hat. Where's his hat gone? Where did you... His hat fell off. Oh, we'll have to find it in a minute. Don't tread on his hat. Anyway, so I don't know. Anybody know if these are action men? I can't see a maker's name. <laughs> Donna says, these remind me of the new money supermarket. Um, ad yes. yes. <laughs> Where they're all doing this. Yeah. All animated. Yeah. yeah, I love that. So there's three figures. They've got a bunch of weapons, um, which are cool. Always add to the value and some general sort of scenery barbed wire and fences and then these look there's two tanks in here but they're nothing to do with it i think they're just i'll just donate these because no, it's uh not quite on scale is it not not <laughs> quite to scale so those i think i'll leave their gift to making noises <laughs> i'll either give to daniel our hm armed forces armed forces men HM Armed Forces, Armed Forces Men. Okay, cool. I'm going to write that down. That's new to me. I'll look that up when we go off air. Yeah, they look better quality than Action Men. I didn't think they were. What was it? Armed Forces Men. Armed Forces Men. Right, okay, cool. So are they any good then? Has anyone had them? Probably 20 to 25 pounds there, I'd say. I was at it. You're talking about these figures? I paid two, so... I figured there had to be more value than two because there's so much detail in Sip K them. is now a Sibica Snape the <laughs> third. I'm, I'm assuming that's Sib Sib K. Yeah. Um, question, not really a question. Went to the car boot sale, was told to look up Nick Hills or Ben Fitzpatrick if I need help with, with listing stuff on eBay. If you're the seller. <laughs> 
Uh, when you're in the chat, let me know. How funny. Oh, my God. That's weird, that isn't it? That's really odd. I just pulled his foot off. Oh, no. <laughs> that's um, quite disturbing. So somebody at the boot cell told you to look up us or Ben. That's quite mad. That is yeah, that's quite freaky. So anyway, they were really nice. I was pleased with those. Yeah, well, the girl that um, organised the Jumble Trail, the Garage Trail yesterday, mm. um, is actually in our Tat Chat group. So. Yeah, we made <laughs> yeah. we made a bit of a booby. Um, well, mm. We don't have the map to hand, do no. we? No, I don't. We do that. share in in the vlog that I haven't edited yet that the map was really confusing and unhelpful. And we were chatting yeah. with this girl at a store. We were buying some stuff off her. <laughs> And we were saying, yeah, yeah, we've been enjoying it, but the map's really, you know, not been that helpful. And she was she's like, like, oh, oh really? I did the map. I did the map. Like, oh, we were no, like, we chose that one person to have a bit of a moan about the map yeah. too. And she yeah. she made the map. And in fact, she organised yeah. the whole and if thing. If you're watching it, I'm really sorry. That, like, yeah, we didn't mean to offend. It, but, um, it was yeah, just constructive just... criticism, that's all. <laughs> yeah, it was confusing. So I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But we we we're kind of learning. We've been to probably four or five of these now, mm. and we are planning to to organise one for Hitchin. So we're kind of learning from what works and what doesn't in other ones, yeah. and we'll probably do one in the summer at some point. So yeah. But hi, uh, we didn't get your name, but lovely to meet you. We had quite a chat in the Hannah. end. Oh, was it Hannah? I think so. Oh, okay. I might have got that wrong, but I think it was. Hannah. I didn't remember getting a name in. Yeah. Right, we haven't shared much chat. Um, a Oh, good lord! A low pro camera bag. Oddly, we had loads of these, brand new, from that huge van load of stock we had. We sold probably thirty or forty of these a while back. Um, paid a pound for that. Not sure what they go for. Use a couple of these. This uh, is which one's this? This is the baby K tan one. Uh, these yeah, are you good. Went back for that, didn't I you? went back for it. I wasn't sure. And I forgot to look it up. And then we drove off to the pub. <laughs> and just just as we were going to go in the pub, I went, oh, I was going to look up that K-Town thing, see if it's worth it. And the, and it really was. Um, yeah. I think top end was about 30 on these. Just to give so, you an idea, the, the pub was right on the river. And it was such a glorious day today that we'd finished the trail. And then we were like, oh, let's just get a cider and go and sit by the river. It was, yeah, which we did. And it was lovely. Yeah. And so was everybody else and their mother. When we first arrived, it was nice and quiet. There was just one family and their dog. Well, the pub had about. literally just opened. <laughs> and we walked in, got a beer. And then, yeah, and then we What's sat that? down and everyone else did. Yeah, when we left, Suddenly it was, got it very was busy. heaving. So, yeah, these, not every brand, it's like most things. Do your little bit of research, but baby carriers. Um, just search baby carriers. Do it by most expensive first and do a little bit of research. Um, this is another good one. Yeah. Oh, oh God. Uh, so much chat. Oh, by the way, I, it says five. I paid four on that. So that should be a nice, easy flip. This one is by Close Parent. Is it Close Parent? Or? Yeah, they're Close Parent now. Um, that's one of their older brands. But right. um, we used to stock them when we had the shop. Um, yeah. We had like a range of reusable nappies and slings and that kind of thing. Yeah, um, I'm not sure what this particular one goes for in the 20s, I think, isn't it? Yeah. And I paid, two, was it two or three? I think it was three. Three on that one? Yeah. So, yeah, we've sold plenty over the years. Uh, they never hang around. If you price them at the right point, get a few good pictures. Uh, Nerf. The obligatory Nerf and the big obligatory, obligatory Duplo. Duplo. <laughs> This is nice. It's got a bunch yeah. of policemen and, and police car, police helicopter, all that jazz. And then we've got... That's just very strange. I don't, I don't even know why you bought that. To sell it? Yeah, I know, but... I'm sure I saw somebody talking about these. It might have been one of the American resellers, and I think they said they send them to Amazon and do well. Okay. It's a little LCD game. But why you'd want to go fishing at home? <laughs> well, there's like wee fishing and all that sort of stuff. Isn't there? But anyway, I thought I'd give it a whirl. Yeah. Don't know if there's scroll, any value scroll in it. Down we're stuck again. Oh, sorry. Let me scroll. <laughs> uh, flipping fantastic finds has got to go. See you later. 
Uh, Pixie Dust Gaming says, does everything detach from that army doll, like arms and feet, etc.? Yeah, well, I just pulled one of its feet uh, off. Yes. Yeah. Let's try these other ones. Oh, look, look. Oh, dear. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's only a flesh wound. It'll be fine. Yeah, the feet come yes, off. Yes, they do. And I assume arms as well, but I don't really want to stop his arm. Oh. Yeah. 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 So definitely not action men. He must have Richard Payne. He must have had thirty on the store. What's that? Bought two DVD VHS combined this morning. Both completely dead. He must have had thirty on the store. Was going to make an off on the lot, but couldn't be bothered carrying them to the car. Glad I didn't. And I, as I reckon, they were all faulty. Yeah. Sounds like a reseller who was clearing out then. That's what Tom Cruise did to his ankle when making Mission Impossible. Ah, oh, really? Did he? Pain. All right, we're not getting very far, Sharon Tat, are we? No, shall I share? Yeah, you go I've for it. My bag. It's like Christmas, isn't it? It is. Um, yeah. So I found uh, some Geo Mag. We've sold that in the past. Yeah. But I don't I think there's. Don't have a price in my head. I don't know what this is worth. This is more panels. Not many balls in it, if any balls. Um, but yeah, this was from the same store where they gave us the Guitar Hero. Uh, paid a couple of pounds for that. I don't know what that set is worth. Oh, these are really nice. Yeah, and then we found some kids' nights. And we can only assume that they're original because they're in a box. Oh, I think they are. But that doesn't, that doesn't mean anything, really. Um, but yeah, brand new with tags still. So they're kids' size, aren't they? Oh, Nike Junior, yeah. It says, oh, that says Mag Magister at the bottom. Magister. Mm. Magister? I don't know. Anyway, we yeah. paid a fiver. Don't know. I haven't had a chance to look into them. Yeah, they seem to be worth a fiver. There was a lady today who had some used Nikes and Vans and stuff. She wanted £15 for the Nikes and £10 for the Vans. You can, you don't, can't get much more than that. That's where eBay. we went back for that baby K turn. Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. She was happy to go down on that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> right, shall we grab something else? Yes. Um, oh, we picked up this. This is for um, the twins, my sister's kids. They are fanatical about this blooming Paw Patrol stuff. This has got a <laughs> blooming Paw Patrol plaster little model that they can paint. So that was just to give them next time around there. Um, and I found a Super Nintendo game. Just a show, and it's boxed. I'm bigging it up now. Unfortunately, it's Super Tennis. Which oh, is a um, shame. Pixie Dust Gaming says if it is a What's that? Fison action figure? How would you pronounce that? Fison, yeah. Yeah, action figure. It's worth a hell of a lot of money. We couldn't see any maker's name on it. Yeah. I will take their clothes off after the show well, and find out if there's any brand name. Write on that it. down with it as well. Well, if it me. says, I'll write it down in there. But yeah, we'll have to yeah. just strip them off and <laughs> see what's what. Um, this isn't a great game. It's a sports title. It's at, well, it is a great game. I had this back in the day. I remember this buying this when it came out in must have been ninety two, uh, and played it to death and completed it within a few days. I just got absolutely addicted. So it was nice to find, but I don't think it holds a lot of value, even boxed. Um, yeah. Oh, these were cool. Yeah, and then I had a little bit of Kath Kidston day today. Um, this is. Looked it up and it's a travel changing mat and has space for like spare nappies and baby wipes and that sort of thing. Um, and not a huge amount of money, about £10. I paid a pound for it. So, so how do you tell if someone's but cast It cast doesn't look stuff. like it's been used, so I reckon I could probably do it as... A bit of a... Oh, okay, I missed that. Little bit okay, it has been used. <laughs> or it's been, you know, damaged. So I know you know the patterns, but oh, there you go. So there's the Kath Kidston logo. Yeah. So I guess it's a case of everything that is Kath Kidston is going to be labelled, apart from these. Yeah, now these, um, the lady had, she bought the material from Kath Kidston and then had these custom made, and they are cushion covers. 
are really, really pretty. Um, oh, and Andrea got her haggle on with this. I was proud of this. Well, yeah. You were straight in there with your haggle, <laughs> weren't you? I was like, well, yeah, I go, really, girl. I didn't want to pay a pound each for them, so I paid 50p each for them instead. Um, so, yeah, there were two exactly like that. Um, and I've looked up handmade cushion covers and for four are about 20 pounds and that's used um i've got six so i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna aim for about 25 to 30 i think sniff test what on the nappy changing thing <laughs> yeah oh so. someone chris reckons the snare super tennis will make 15 pounds all day long yep yeah, cool the box is a bit bashed up to be fair but it's got its so, manual yeah I'm still going with my <laughs> patterns, but yeah, there's a pair of those ones as well. Yeah. So if anyone loves Kath Kidston, I, I haven't looked up the um, the patterns yet. But... They smell good. <laughs> They've been in the wash. Yeah. So it made me happy anyway, because I love Kath Kidston. So what were you thinking price? You did do a little bit of research, didn't you? Yeah, I just said to, I was going to oh. list them for about 25 okay. to 30, somewhere around that. I wasn't listening. Oh, Karen says that's like 50 to 60 pounds worth of fabric. Really? And I think a lot of people wow. buy it. You know, I mean, obviously they're, they're cushion covers, but it doesn't necessarily sell just as a cushion cover. You can um, put fabric spares in there it's not a whole lot of fabric though that's only like what's that? it's not but you know people quill sort of 16 they, inches or something you know wow i had no idea that that's how much fabric was cat kids done yeah yeah <laughs> crazy yes. right is that monty breathing heavily no no there is a noise listen that sounds like an aeroplane. No. There's something. There's something like um, a mechanical thing making the noise. I don't know. Monty's asleep down there. Um, I picked up this, um, but it's not as good as I thought it might be. It's a Casio portable TV. I don't know if it works. Oh, I did get some batteries, really. I could test it. I might do that. I'll put some batteries in while you're sharing something else. Um, got it for a pound, but I don't think these have much value. I think I'll probably struggle to get a tenner out of it. Um, I suppose the days of portable TVs are kind of gone now. We've got phones and, you know, we can all get the internet and YouTube on our phone. Um, but it was a cool thing. It's nice that it's got its box and its instructions in there, which will help it help it sell, but it's not great. Um, Right. What else have you got? Um, I do have a few clothes today. Ooh, Nothing very exciting. Then. Well, you show some clothes and I'll show. Oh, this was a fail as well. I thought these might be quite collectible. British Airways cards, all with different planes on. As you can see. But they're all over eBay and they're not really worth anything. So I will donate those. Yeah, as I hear said, those TVs don't have any use since digital TV. Yeah. Yeah, but for a pound... It's a nice sort of retro thing, isn't it? I think they still sell as a collectible. Yeah. But... Well, what's the problem? Monty, it's just... <laughs> yeah. Can you, can you see? <laughs> there he goes. Wading through the tat. <laughs> right, do you want to show some clothes? And I'll, I'll yeah. put some batteries in, see if that thing works. It's actually can... mostly jeans because, you know, jeans always sell always good quality um french connection jeans they're skinny she said she bought them and tried them on and couldn't actually get in them so she never actually wore them so they're pretty much as new i haven't looked up prices on these though so i can't tell you prices somebody in the chat will tell you how much are french connection jeans were french connection je skinny jeans or ginny skins as I nearly said. Ginny skins. <laughs> yeah. And um, what the brand is on these. I think they're New Look, actually. They're a pair of skinny uh, New Look blue jeans. They're actually my size, so I might try them on. 
I do need jeans after I managed to shrink my other pair. So I'm currently surviving on one pair of jeans. Uh, these are Ted Baker. Again, I have no idea on price, but they're a pound. And I'm not going to say no to that. So really nice pair of boot cut Ted Baker jeans that have hardly been worn. Well, it's trying to find a signal. So let me know, guys, because everything's gone digital, does that mean this just will not pick up anything now? I don't know. Ask Sahir. <laughs> He's the I, expert. I'm, I really have no clue with this sort of stuff. You can see it's trying to, it's scanning for a signal. So is there no analog signal anymore? Is that why these things are pretty much obsolete? I'm showing my ignorance here. I think it's working. It's just not finding anything. No, it won't, Nick. Yeah. Mm. I got a tenner for the TV. That's what I thought it was probably worth. There is no analog TV signal now. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not daft then. Yeah. So they are they are just being picked off literally as collector's items then. Yeah. 49.99 on eBay for the portable TV sold for. Really? I'm sure when I looked, they were all over the place, really cheap. 50 mm. quid? Well, it's, it's working, but it's never going to find anything if there is no signal. Here comes Monty again. <laughs> okay, so oh, continuing. Um, this is a pair of new look um, tropical leaf print trousers. I already have a pair of these in a size 8 listed for 12 99 So I'm just going to add this to the listing. It's a size 10. So. Can you do that after the fact? I don't know. But I can when I revise it. Or you could it, just do a cell I, similar yeah, with a different size. Similar. So, yeah. And these are new look as well. They're same style but different print. So I reckon twelve ninety nine on those as well. That is with free post. So about nine ninety nine. And I got a new look gingham shirt because gingham never goes out of fashion really and it's very on trend at the moment should i carry on if you like i've only got a couple of bits left um i haggled with this as well i've got two swe sweatshirts for three pounds oh and cohen's message you there oh, okay 10 to 12 pounds on the new look did you have new look jeans I had, yeah new, yep. new, new look jeans uh 25 maybe on the ted baker ones okay cool um, and a less. I didn't roll my eyes at the clothes. <laughs> Sib K, you're making things up. And a less sweatshirt. A less very trendy at the moment for some reason. I don't know why. Is it? Yeah. And. Is one of these the ones that we found? One we found a hole yeah, in. Yeah, unfortunately, it's the Adidas one, which is one that's worth the most. Would that fit me though? I don't know. I think it will still sell with the defect and an Adidas sweatshirt as well. It's a hoodie. What size is it? It is large, I believe. Mm. But yeah, it's really nice. But it has, as we noticed when we got home, had a catch on it. And it's caught on the zip or something in the wash. But I still think that it will sell. I, I think I'll get at least 15 back on it with the defect. Cool. How much were you paying on these? I can't remember. That was three pounds for the pair. All right. So one fifty nice. each. Yeah, that's everything I've got. I wasn't supposed to be looking at clothes. I was trying really hard not to. <laughs> the bigger the log, the better. <laughs> Logo, he meant. Oh, okay. So, okay. <laughs> uh, mini TV, ten pounds. That's what I was thinking around the ten. Uh, Adrian, question, Nick. How's your daughter feeling any better as she's been ill? She's much better now. Yeah, much better. Um, yeah, she had some sort of flu virus. Um, but, yeah, she's fine now. Thank you. Right. So I did mention earlier, one of the first stalls we went to, they had um, the stall where we chatted to the lady who had sadly lost her husband. Um, they were selling off a lot of his stuff. And they had this amp, which is heavy. Now, it's a Fender, which caught my attention. They wanted 15, 
and it probably would have been a fair price at that but i don't know we just started and i didn't know we were in the mini i'm not sure if i wanted bulky stuff at that point anyway i i offered them 10 and kind of stuck to my guns really and they they ummed and ah didn't they mm -hmm. and then they said we'll come back a bit later yeah which we did and it was still there and they just said yes straight away when i went back um i'm gonna shoot for 50 which is the top end of this of what it goes for uh it's a comfortable 40 i think but 50 a lot of people sell them on local collection because it is quite heavy but i've had no issues shipping this out um i reckon in the condition it's in i'm going to shoot for 50. if i have to take 40 it's not the end of the world from a 15 pound investment that'll have shipping on top so yeah really pleased with that it's a really nice thing okay that's that one and then i also picked up we went to a store they didn't have a whole lot of stuff on their table to be honest and half the table was covered in this which is right let's see in the chat who um can tell me what is what this bag is full of if i just show you this i reckon sue will get it first if sue's still in somebody somebody will know there's absolutely loads of it um yeah pixie dust gaming got it first octonauts ah oh, oh, sue sue. <laughs> sue you're too slow shabatron yeah awesome. yeah so like i say we kind of bought up half their stall there's loads of play sets in here there's this guy there's loads of the extras which is really cool like the little bits and bobs the accessories and stuff steve mandrew says fenders are okay but they don't go up to 11. <laughs> uh, spinal tap reference yeah. Yeah, there's loads and loads of the um, accessories and bits and bobs and lots of the figures as well. So it's great. I'm not sure yet. I haven't done any research whether I'm going to bundle this as one big job lot or or what. Oh, am I modeling these as well? Well, if you just put them down there, I'll quickly show you what's in here. If anyone's had this stuff before, let me know what you think. I don't know what half this is. It's all in bits. Look, this has got this. This goes on here, like that. Maybe, oh, yeah, cool. that looks right. Here you go. Just chuck it in the top of that bag if you like. Yeah. Oh, that just <laughs> fell out. There's loads of it. Anyway, I paid fifteen pounds for the whole bag. Oh, which I think is pretty good from the little I know about it. Here's another one of these guys. Well, they have little holes in their feet that they stick on. So there's that one. That's cool. Which has like swings and oh, it's a giant octopus. Look, that's his face. There you go. Thanks. Might as well, might as well get them all out. I haven't really looked at this. I I recognised it was octonauts. Quickly did the deal and and uh, and moved on. There's another octopus. So here says I don't even know what octonauts are. Are these are here, these little figures and play sets. Do they do anything particular? They... I think it's just based on a TV thing again, isn't oh, okay. it? I don't know. Let us know in the chat. I think it's a TV show, is it not? We're so out of touch with kids' TV yeah. these days. The only time we see it is when we're out at shows. Yeah. But for whatever reason, it still has quite a voracious market for it. There's a little sub. If you are missing the Octo Alert button, I may have a spare. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Stu Mandrew is very funny tonight. I called an IT man today as I had problems with my computer. He asked if I disabled cookies. I said, I sometimes bite the legs off gingerbread men. <laughs> I had a gingerbread man on the on the uh, on the one yesterday. There was a, a brownies had a stall. I think there'll be a clip in the video and they were just selling cakes so we rock up to the stall all quick because we're trying to get around and it's like oh it's all cakes and then you feel like you have to buy a cake because you're there with all these cute little brownies so i bought a gingerbread man anyway yeah so there's a little submarine to go with your pirate ship this is quite epic like a spaceship job no idea i'm gonna have fun dealing with all of this oh look at that you're going to have fun playing with your octonauts. I will. 
I do enjoy it. I really do. <coughs> Kevin says, are you near the end? Does the shop close close to me closes at 9.30? Don't let us stop you. Have you got to do a beer run? <laughs> no, if you need a beer run, it's far more important than watching us. <laughs> and in the bottom of the bag, it's just a bunch of figures and more accessories. Um, oh, it's ten past yeah, nine. It's ten past nine. We, we do need to get a shifty. We've probably we've, shared the good stuff. Yeah, to be we've honest. bought a lot of stuff today and yesterday. So. We will wrap up soon. Yeah. But you can always watch it back on replay anyway. Don't yeah. don't miss you know whatever you need at the shop on our behalf. Do you want to put those back in here or just? Ah, uh, we'll do it in a minute. Right. Yeah. Um, um, Sue says, oh, that takes batteries too. Um, you what does Sue? The spaceship thingy. Oh, the spaceship thingy. Oh, okay. I won't, I won't try that out now. Um, one last thing I do want to share. There's a big stack of board games here. Not those. Those were from last week, I think. The big stack behind me. Um, all the usual suspects, really. But this, I really like it. I don't know if it'll have any value. It's not branded. It's just really well made. It holds together with magnets. It's got um, backgammon inside. We may even keep this, you know. It's got a wooden chest set, which is all I sealed. I have a draft in here. Yeah, it's got drafts. And obviously the backgammon pieces in here as well. Backgammon's a great game. Did we used to play that as well? Yeah, we had a set. Yeah. Um, she only wanted two pounds for that. So I went for it. If it has significant value, we might sell it on, but it's just such a nice thing. We may keep it. So it's just really nicely made. Mm -hmm. Right, shall we wrap up there? I think so, yeah. Ray Cunningham has gone, he's got um, to go and make chicken fajitas. Nice. I, I picked up a, a Discman as well, I'll quickly share that. Uh, it's not the best make at all, Alba. So it's only sort of 10 to 12 pounds worth. The ones you want, the Sony, Philips, that sort of stuff. The jokes are still coming. Adrian what? says, I went to Specsavers at the weekend, asked for seven pairs of glasses just to see me through the week. <laughs> oh, dear. Pixie Dust Gaming, Nick and Andrea. Octo alert button is when Captain Barnacles presses the button and all the octonauts report for duty. I have kids, not my fault. I know what it does. Oh, so it's similar to the Paw Patrol thing where they, they set off an alarm and then they all come running, maybe. I've never seen the show. <gasps> I picked up a Nintendo Rob the Robot for £7. Ooh, I've never had one of those. Oh, one last thing. Grab this. I love Monty Python. Anything yeah, to do and, with and the whole gang. We what? finally watched The Life of Brian. Andrea has now watched <laughs> The Life of Brian, one of my favourite films of all time. Yeah. And what did you think? Give us a quick review. Um, it was as I expected it to be. <laughs> Which was? I mean, it was a good film. Yeah. 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 It's got I've so heard many... so much about it and heard so many quotes that it, I felt like I'd seen it already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I mean, I I don't know how many times I've seen that. Some of the scenes, the stoning scene is just classic. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. So anyway, I, I picked this up. It's it's huge. Uh, it's the Monty Python autobiography. It's got so much stuff in it. I think I'm just keeping it now because we looked up this up yesterday because I was intrigued. I paid a pound for it, which for a book like this is just nothing. And um, there are people selling this on Amazon, FBA, £2.80. They are paying Amazon to sell that FBA, honestly. And then there's people like um, World of Books and stuff on eBay selling it for about the same money oh, shipped. Goodness. This weighs about really two and a half kilos. And they're selling it for £2.80, free delivery on eBay. Do... Everyone's quoting the film now. <laughs> He's a very naughty boy. What have the Romans ever done for us? But yeah, I think I will keep this one. It's absolutely packed with... I watched a documentary only the other night about um, how the how the Pythons came together and the, the, the shows they were in before um, getting the Python gig. 
and just just love it such a talented yeah. bunch of people oh just the upper class twits love it anyway but no value don't pick one of these up if you're planning to resell it because people are selling it for nothing online i think you just wanted to have a look at it and read it anyway didn't you I, it was one of those things that i yeah i'm happy to keep mm. it and that's probably what will happen yeah right are we gonna end there we probably should let everyone get on with their sunday evenings thank you so much as ever for joining us yeah. thank you for the super chats that always blows us away um really appreciate that we will see you during the week as i say we'll try and get your video out tomorrow yes um i don't know what we're gonna have to talk about next sunday because we're um, planning to have a week not reselling uh, as, yeah. as such because we've got lots of things to organize and do in the house so we thought we'd have a week off to do that and, um, yeah, we're kind of taking a break from reselling just for the week because we have endless jobs to do in the house yeah. that just don't get done because we're so busy and we don't yeah, stop. Family over on Saturday. I don't know if we're going to group sell it on Sunday, possibly not. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Um, yeah. But yeah, there will be, uh, we'll try and get your video out tomorrow. Tat Chat with Zaheer is Tuesday. Um, Thursday, I have a very special guest coming on, which I'm excited about. Uh, that will be Thursday. And hopefully Friday, we'll be doing this thing with Stephen Steph. So although we're having a week off from recently, and have you spoken to Stephen Steph about Friday? Yeah, okay. they said they said they're cool for all the days. Just kind of pick one. Okay. So hopefully that was going to work. Anyway, okay. right. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope you enjoyed that. We've got two hundred and twenty-six people still in that have made it this far. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you soon. Yeah. Thank you, and thank you for everybody's nice kind words that you said earlier that's um you know really helped so thank you very very much for that yeah appreciate it guys take care we'll see you soon okay. bye